South Africa's elections proved a surprise, not only for the parties that grew, but also for the parties that won and lost. Here are some of the talking points and politicians that made a mark on this year's elections. Please allow me to get a response from you um, in terms of people saying, questioning your leadership, questioning your competence. Um, how does that make you feel and, and, and what is your response and your message to South Africans that do so? Look, I don't want to be rude to you, but I have never had one radio station talking to men about ethics. If you want to talk about ethics, they must be equal. They must not have a big eyes and a man uh, must not be given an opportunity to manipulate uh, everything. anti should he have run for the other eight provinces? That's the question. No, 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 no. You, you see, I don't know why it's an issue. Mm -hmm. Because a vote accounts the same anywhere in the country. Well, I think the DA has bled votes from its right flank from voters who no longer felt confident that the DA was going to stand up for the things that mattered most to it, particularly land and land reform. So even, although Mamani has been pretty clear on the issue, I think the problem is that they've been tried, they've tried to be all things to all men and all women. We are going to be building on the gains, of course, um, of this election um, for 2021 as we approach the local government elections. Already, um, the National Campaign Committee of the IFP will be activating um, that um, project. And so for us now, there's no looking back. Um, we needed to um, test our strength in these elections and it, we have recognized that um, hard work pays off. And of course, we were arresting an electoral decline. Ten seats in the National Assembly. You're back with a bank. Well, we even have more seats than we had in 1994. In 1994, we only had nine seats. Uh, so now we have ten. Uh, so we're not rewind. You must remember the Freedom Front Plus says we must stop fighting for a better past. We're fighting for a better future. Out of the possibly nine million that could have registered, six million of those were young people that didn't register. You see, the difference between the youth of our time and the youth now we had waited all our lives to vote. Mm -hmm. So when the vote was given to us, we understood the value of the vote. We understood that it, these are the underpinnings of democracy. The youth today uh, are not as conscious about what we have because they were born in a democratic state. We've gone out to build in a universe where so many in the world will hark back to racial nationalism and a form of populism. We've stayed the course. It's a historic mission that this party has always been engaged with and it's one that I am proud to continue and will continue. We are going to be taking this party forward to grow in more communities, to grow in more areas because ultimately it's about holding the centre. It's about making sure that citizens can work together. I don't have eyes on anything. I've, I'm going to be a parliamentarian. That's what I know for now. The rest is not my business. It's the president's business. Would you welcome? Uh, as I said before, I do what I'm told to do. When you're an opposition partner, it doesn't matter whether you've got 10 seats or whether you're the official opposition with 84 seats. If you don't have the majority, you cannot stop the governing party. So, but the difference is the Freedom Front Plus now it's not going to only get three minutes in every speech. Well, now we're going to get 15 minutes. And I can assure you, I will use that 15 minutes to say quite much more what I said in three minutes. Well, we accept the outcomes of these elections and we're going to use them as a yardstick measure for future progress. And until the responses which are so desired from the IEC have not come in, um, we will continue just to harbor that view. Thank you very much for being with us on this edition of Political Capital. Stay with CNBC Africa, first in business worldwide. Portfolio Watch is up next.